there were heavy clash between the Nigerian police and some member of the IPOB armed security forces in Imo State. One person has been confirmed dead and several others sustained major injuries as the joint operation of police at the Olo Divisional Headquarters and the local vigilante of Ama Ifeke Asian Kingdom clash with suspected members of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB armed forces which are known as the Eastern Security Network ESN in Imo State. According to information from our reliable source, the suspected IPOB and ESN members troop in their numbers in an attempt to invade the palace of the chairman of Imo State traditional rulers, His Royal Highness Eze Dr. Emmanuel Okereke at Ama Ifeke in Olo local government area of Imo State. Confirming the incident, the Imo State police spokesman Henry Okoye disclosed that the joint operation of the police and local vigilante fueled the attempt. According to him, two local vigilante whose names are withheld for security reasons were injured in the ensuring gun duel and immediately rushed to a nearby hospital for medical attention. He stated that the suspected IPOB and ESN members came in their numbers shooting sporadically and fighting their way into the palace of Ama Ifeke Asian Kingdom in Olo but they received strong resistance from police operatives and local vigilantes who engaged them in a protracted gun battle, forcing them to flee the adjoining bushes with various degrees of gunshot injuries. Imo State Police spokesman Henry Okoye stated that one of them died while receiving medical attention while the other is in stable condition. While searching the bush, Blood stains were seen, which proved as evidence that the hoodlums were fatally hit. However, the IPOB has maintained that the insecurity ravaging the southeast region is a Nigeria state sponsored blackmail against Ndibo, particularly against IPOB's peaceful movement for Biafra referendum. According to the words of IPOB spokesman, we have constantly condemned and disassociated ourselves from the unknown government and insist that Nigerian security agencies know those behind the marks unknown government. This unknown government were those who led the prison break at the Were Correctional Facility on 5th April 2021 for three hours without any resistance from the government security operatives. They also led covert operation at Suleja Abuja prison on 5th July 2020 without security resistance. If these men were not government agents, how could they have done this? How can a non-state actor carry out jail breaks for hours without security resistance? IPB spokesman stated. However, the Labour Party and its presidential candidate Peter Ubi have replied a written address by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu that there will be anarchy if his election is overturned. Reacting, Labour Party and Peter Ubi said Tinubu's remark is a sign of desperation taken too far. Recall that in the address, the president's representatives, led by Wole Olale Pekun, challenged the claims made by Peter Obi's witnesses, including Clarita Oga, a supposed cloud engineer at Amazon. They won the presidential election petition court that a misinterpretation of the law related to lawful vote cast in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja, could lead to chaos and anarchy. The petitioners in response suggested that the only path to anarchy is the truncation of the rule of law. Peter B's lead counsel, 
Livy Uzugu San filed a final written address stating this is a cheap misguided and destructive blackmail clearly intended to target the country's judicial and constitutionalism it also aims at cannibalizing our democracy Livy Uzugu San further condemned the president's address stating desperation taken too far can be extremely dangerous let the second and third respondents that is Tinubu and Shetima know that where the rule of law is trampled upon or truncated anarchy reigns supreme the court has given both the petitioners the respondents a set number of days to file their written addresses to file their written addresses with the respondent giving additional time to reply on point of law to reply on points of law